let go with that early shot. Was that a plan or was that something you saw in the, in the moment? Um, honestly, I think we're just trying to score um, at that point. Uh, yeah, I mean, probably could have worked for maybe for a better one, but you're down, so you want to give yourself a chance to get an offensive rebound or, of some sort and um, just didn't execute down the stretch. And, you know, that stinks. And, you know, the rest is a really good team and, uh, you know, changed up their defense on us and we weren't really prepared for it and didn't respond well um, in all areas. So, Good learning opportunity for us. I think, you know, like we said in the locker room, like our goals are still intact. You just come in and get better every single day. You win every single day. Um, that's all that matters. But uh, keep your head high. You know, one one loss at the very fine game by any means. Caitlin, once the, the defense have changed, because you, you guys think you guys should probably just ten points in that yeah. fourth quarter. Is that the biggest thing? Or absolutely, I think going to the box in one. Um, something we prepare for all throughout the season, hadn't necessarily prepped for it the last couple of practices, but should have been ready for it, uh, should have executed our offense better. Um, and that doesn't mean that I need to get open looks by any means. We have plenty of capable scorers on our team that can get open looks, but um, you know that's what a box and one is. They're gonna take me away. They're gonna make me take hard shots. It's just finding ways for other people to get open. And you know we have plays, we have offenses that we should have been running. Um, we just didn't execute. We just didn't get to our spots. We didn't cut into the paint. Um, but, you know, we'll be ready for it. And like I said, it's a good learning opportunity. Caitlin, I'm sure it's in the back of your mind, but how does it feel that you're going to break the all-time squad record back in home in Iowa City? Yeah, I mean, it's not really on the front of my mind right now. I think just, you know, getting better and uh, getting back home and playing in front of our fans and executing the way we know we can execute, um, I think is very important for this team. And, so we'll have two practices to get ready for that. And um, yeah, I mean, obviously it'll be special, but I think the biggest focus right now is just finding ways to grow, finding ways to get better because, you know, another case of us blowing another lead and, you know, that's something that has to stop. And um, yeah, I think just, we could have executed a lot better. Uh, can't get frazzled by them going to a box and one. We've seen it plenty of times. Um, so yeah, I think that's just my main focus right now. Katie, Katie. Senior leader on this team, when you talk about execution, what does that look like over the next few days heading into Thursday for you and leading this team? I think our group does a really good job coming in and working hard every single day. I don't think that's ever something that's begged to be done. I think it's something that's just known. I think we have great maturity on this team. I think we have great leaders, Kate, Gabby, and I. I think we have people that want to get better every single day. Um, I think that's just the biggest thing is coming in and working hard and being intentional about what we're doing because. Everybody's going to give us our best shot. If you don't know that at this point in the season, then I don't know. I mean, that's what every team's going to do. They're going to be prepared. They're going to know their scout. Um, so I think that's just the biggest thing is coming in and being intentional about every single thing we do, no matter how long you go on the court. you got to be able to, to win practice every single day if you want to win on game day. Okay, did you did you notice anything different in the fourth quarter? I mean, just watching you guys, it didn't seem like regular Iowa basketball. So what did you see happen? Yeah, I think we got away from Iowa basketball in the fourth quarter. And I think we've been, you know, playing to not lose instead of playing to win. And that's really important down the stretch is still playing to win. We can't just, you know, take the ball out, get comfortable. And I think we've been doing that in certain situations. Why, why would teams start playing not to lose? Because of the size of the lead, 14, 16, was that what it was? Sure, yeah, and just get comfortable sometimes. And, you know, then you're, might not be cutting as hard, crashing. Um, I don't know, you just get complacent sometimes, and that's something we should never do is get complacent, and um, you know, we did. Caitlin, you guys have had a pretty good track record of responding mm -hmm. to losses. Um, obviously, K-State, Madison, and the Ohio State loss. What do you guys sort of, amongst yourselves, do you have to you guys respond to this? I think just, you know, knowing our goals are still intact, there's no reason to, you know, freak out. There's no reason to get down on yourselves. You know, just look in the mirror and find ways to get better. Every single person, I think that's the biggest thing. Is you know, we can we still control our destiny. That's all that matters. And um, you know, we just have a lot of really great games in front of us. Um, and you know, don't let one bad loss, you know, ruin the rest of however many games we have left. Six, seven, whatever it is, because you know those moments are going to go by fast. And every team we play the rest of the way is really, really good. Um, so we got to be com we got to come and be ready to play. And um, Maybe it's a good reset for our team to be able to look in the mirror and find ways to get better. And um, that's one through 14 on the bench. Whether you get in, whether you don't get in, every single person can give more. And I know you obviously you focus on your team, but today you became the first 
women's basketball player and first men's player on record because they didn't count assists for a long time. Mm-hmm. First hit, hit 3,000 points and 1,000 assists. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you in terms of how you've tried to be that type of all around player? Yeah, I think it just, I mean, like that's what I take a lot of pride in is I want to be able to set my teammates up and hopefully in return that makes my life a little easier too at getting to my spots. And um, yeah, I think, you know, an assist doesn't come without my teammate finishing the ball. And obviously I've played with a lot of really good players over the past four years, whether it was Mon, whether it's McKenna, whether it's Hannah, Addie, Kate, Gabby. I've played with so many really great players that find a way to put the basketball in the hole. So I'm just really grateful um, in that regard. And um, obviously, Coach Booter's kind of let me do my thing and be me, and that's something for, I'm grateful for, too. Are you, if you're uh, obviously submission you outside of this room, did you hear in the arena that during at least one of your free throws, there was still some arena music being played while you were shooting? Did, did you notice that, or did that distract you, or did you not even notice? I honestly didn't even notice. I mean, like, it is what it is. It, whether it's arena music or whether it's fans yelling at you, it doesn't It doesn't really matter. you got to be able to make the free throw. Are you, hey, are you sick? Has the scoring uh, record been a distraction? Will you be happy when it's over? has not been a distraction at all. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's what comes with the territory. And when it happens, it happens. Uh, really not going to affect my life that much. And just going to keep going about my business as I have for the past four years and um, pouring into my teammates every single day and hopefully, you know, leading this team to reach our goals, whether it's Big Ten regular season title, whether it's Big Ten championship and tournament, or, you know, getting back to the Final Four. That's where my focus lies. And uh, I think I've been, you know, doing this long enough. It's my fourth year. I think I understand, you know, you can't get too caught up in one loss, you know, that can't, you know, hinder your season at all. So uh, just buying into the girls and, and lifting them up because, you know, all everybody needs right now is, is a boost of confidence and I know I can give it to them. Last one here, Chad. I mean, it sounds like you're, you've got something yeah, going on. What's going on health? I don't want I know you don't want to make excuses, but no. did you, were you dealing with something coming yeah, in that bothered you? Yeah, I was congested, but like you said, I'm not going to make any excuses, Chad. <laughs> Thanks, guys.